off with a sky blue shade. I'm taking this into the crease of the eye using my Sigma E40 brush. I'm using windshield wiper motions, little squiggly motions to really buff this out into the crease. Then I'm taking whatever's left on that brush and running it under my lower lash line. To deepen up the crease even further, I'm taking a darker blue shadow, almost like an ocean blue. Get it? Ocean? Mermaid? Anyway. <laughs> um, I'm going to blend this into the crease of the eye using the Soeva fluffy brush. Then I'm also focusing that on the outer corner and under the lower lash line as well. Then I'm taking this beautiful vibrant purple shade from the Urban Decay Electric palette, it's in the shade Urban, um, and I'm blending this into the crease of my eye even further, basically just going on top of that blue and it'll almost give like a royal purple shadow, it's really pretty, so just keep blending that over until you're happy with it, you can just build up the colour as you go along. Then to blend out the edges, I'm taking a little bit of that blue we used previously and just blending this kind of like on top of it and in between that and the light blue shade. Then I'm going in with a blue gel liner from NYX Cosmetics as my base for the other glittery eyeshadows. I'm applying this to my lid using a synthetic brush and then once that's all been applied and set down I'm taking this amazing glitter shade from the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette called Magnetic. It's like purple, got a little bit of blue in it, it's just gorgeous. Then I'm taking another shade from the same Moon Dust palette in the shade Light Year which is a beautiful glittery green and applying that on the inner corner of my eye. Then under the lower lash line I'm taking the blue NYX gel line I use on the lid as a base. Just running that under the lower lash line to give the glitter some more intensity and something to stick to. Um, I'm using the exact same shades I use on the lid on the lower lash line as well. Once that's been done, I've decided to apply a green highlighter to my brow bone. This is from the Moon Dash palette in the shade Lucky Clover. Um, blend that out and then I'm applying the blue liner to the inner rims of my eye just to add a little extra aquiness. Then on the inner corner of my eye, I took my favourite little shimmery eye pencil from Primark. Any shimmery eye pencil will do. Then I'm going to go ahead and set that into place using the shade Lucky Clover from the Moon Dust palette. Moon Dust? Oh my god, I forgot the name. Moonchild! Moonchild palette! <laughs> then I'm applying some mascara and these spiky lashes. These are just ones from Amazon that I got years ago because I have run out of eyelashes and I can't afford to buy any more at the moment, but life goes on. So you can always make do with what you've got. Then I'm going to apply some setting like primer spray to my face fan that so it's all dry and then because mermaids have a nice glow to them I'm taking the strobe cream from MAC and applying this quite heavily all over my face just to moisturise as well. Then for foundation I'm going in with my favourite foundation which is the Fenty Beauty foundation. Just applying quite a heavy layer of this all over my face and then blending it in using the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge for a flawless beautiful mermaid like finish. Then I'm going to go ahead and contour a little bit. Doesn't really matter too much about the step because you're going to be covering most of your face like in scales. Um, but I just like to contour just out of like practice. I don't know. Like I just feel like it looks like incomplete without the contour. So I'm applying this contour product around my forehead, under my cheekbones, down the side of my nose, and a little bit under my lip as well. Blending it out with this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Then for concealer, I'm concealing and highlighting my face using the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in the shade Ivory, applying it all over like my blemishes, um, on my chin and quite a heavy amount under my eyes, um, and down my nose and on like a triangle in the middle of my forehead to really highlight and brighten up the area as well. Then I'm taking that trusty Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and just like blending everything together. I put this super fast motion. I really wish I could get ready this fast. Then I'm just going to set that into place using the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in the shade Peach Glow. No questions need to be said about this powder. It's great. Then I'm taking a trusty old pair of fishnet tights. Look a bit strange right now, but I'm going to go pin that all to my head. It took quite a while and I couldn't see like anything <laughs> because I was wearing contact lenses. So I probably recommend like putting your contacts in after you've done this because I could barely see anything. Um, which is why like the side of my head you'll see like when I reveal it, like the side that I'm doing now, so my right side but the left side to how you're viewing it looks a bit funny. So if I was to redo this I would just double check like all of the holes are the same sort of size. You'll see what I mean when I take it off later on. 
but it just makes such an amazing effect and it's a good idea just to do this you will look a little bit crazy for a while but that way like you don't have any smudges in it and it just looks so good i used a mixture of like purple blue and green to create my scales but you can use any color you want i just wanted to use purple blue and green for my mermaid but whatever mermaid you want to do that's completely up to you reveal these are beautiful scales i thought they looked so good i was so happy with them then for my lips, I don't actually own like a dark, dark purple lip liner or like an eye pencil that I'd want to use as a lip liner. So I just took any old lip liner. The one I used was the MAC Chicory one, just to kind of like create an outline, um, like a guide when I apply the liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Black Current from LA Girl. I applied some lashes, apply some lashes? Apply some mascara to my lower lashes and I contoured my nose slightly just to add some more shape to the face. Then I decided to add a little bit of that green shimmer shade down the centre of my nose and to the tip of my nose as well. This creates like a nice pretty look and it's a bit different as the usual highlighter. Then I thought I needed to add something more so I played around with the fishnet tights trying to get them on my lips and then held them as secure as I possibly could and then applied a little bit of the shimmery powder to my lips. This looked so cool when I took it off. Like it looks so freaking cool. Yeah. It doesn't last for that long but it looks really cool. So this is the finished look guys, I really hope you enjoyed the super last minute Halloween makeup tutorial and you have fun being dressy and having fun. I shall see you in my next video, thanks so much for watching, bye!